in the lithium battery field are now discussing ways to further reduce risks associated with battery fire dangers. Colo 8 News has Emily Benito takes a closer look. Following the incident where an electric Tesla semi-truck caught fire on I-80, battery building specialists say that the most important next step in lithium battery production is improved safety. Lithium batteries have been around for a long time, obviously, and before the onset of, you know, a lot of electric vehicles hitting the road, they were in our cell phones, they're in our laptops, they're in our power tools. So we're, we're actually very familiar with lithium ion batteries. And the way lithium burns requires a different approach when compared to typical fires. From a danger standpoint, if you look at what we're used to with transportation, we're used to large tanks of gasoline. So transportation has an inherent flammability associated with it just through gasoline. The flammability associated with lithium ion batteries is actually less than the flammability associated with tanks of gasoline. They are not as uh, violent initially, but they do last a long time. Which is why retired firefighter Jesse Corletto worked to find a solution. At the beginning of the year, uh, we launched eFireX, which is a lithium battery fire suppression agent for fire department use and uh, fire extinguisher use as well. Corletto says these new extinguishers pinpoint an issue specific to lithium battery fires. So lithium, it's a whole different beast. You know, it burns at a high uh, heat rate, and it, it's self-oxidizing, so it creates its own oxygen. And all of our current agents in the market right now, they're smothering agents, which cut off oxygen from up above. So the, this new technology that we developed, it's an agent that actually tackles that self-oxidizing and combats that high heat fires. Corletto's hope? is to see these kinds of advancements help push the industry forward. EV technology has advanced, you know, way past our fire codes. And now, you know, with a new technology like this, it's just going to really, really help electrify, you know, that development, you know, that, that growth in EV technology. So it could grow in a safely, you know, manner for, you know, business owners, you know, car owners and the industry as well. Corletto is working on partnerships with city agencies and public safety organizations to help distribute these fire extinguishers and ensure communities are equipped for future battery fires. In South Lake Tahoe, Emily Benito, Colloate News Now.